Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hydro. Uh, it's definitely been a while. I apologize for that. Uh, I've been trying to do this part two to the jvapes.com e-liquid review, but long story short, I um, had to get a couple more clearamizers and I had to get some uh, wire to do a coil with and um, blah, 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 blah. Life happens and money happens and things of that nature. So I didn't really want to do a a half-ass uh, video for you guys. I wanted to, you know, really uh, do my best to get you guys the information and to do a uh, good, honest review of the e-liquid because I really enjoy this e-liquid and I really just don't want to half-ass anything. So, um, without further ado, let's do part two of the J Vapes e-liquid review. Um, so. As with the last video, I have taken some notes and I will be paraphrasing their descriptions from their website, uh, jvapes.com. Um, I won't go over the, uh, you know, the prices and things like that. I, you know, went over that in the last video. I will say that it's all 50-50 PGBG mixes, um, you know, for those of you that, that care about stuff like that. So, uh, but go to the website. You can get all the prices and everything on there. They're very reasonable, um, you know. Uh, so I think that it's actually a good value for what you're getting. So um, anyway, I have uh, <laughs> off camera, I have all my vaping equipment right here, or at least a whole bunch of it. And uh, so I'm going to be doing some different tanks, different setups, things like that. So you can kind of get an idea of how these are going to perform in a device that you may have. So uh, the first one we're going to do is going to be this one right here, uh, Yellow Sub. So again, as I mentioned in the last video, they have a few that are sort of Beatles inspired. Uh, the <clears throat> short paraphrase description of this one is psychedelic blend of fruits. So that's an interesting description. I find that a lot of descriptions on the website really don't give you a whole lot of information. They're pretty vague. So uh, just another reason why I really want to do as many of these videos as I can on the sea liquid because of just the descriptions being so vague. I'd really like to see the website do better description so you really know what you're getting. So uh, I'm going to be using the iTaste MVP2 for a few of these and uh, the iClear 30 on this one in particular. Yeah, it's definitely a fruit blend. Um, tastes to me like more exotic fruits, more tropical fruits. Um, not quite melony fruits. Um, more like berries, but like tropical berries, you know, not like raspberries or things of that nature. I'm not, I'm not really tasting any strawberry, but it almost tastes like there's some banana in there. So, um, you know, I'd say for this one, it's definitely more, a, it tastes more like a tropical blend, but not the kind of tropical blend that would be like a mixed drink. So, take that for what you will. Um, it is it is a good vape, but it's, uh, it's one of those ones that's really hard to tell if it's just really complex or if it's just so basic that you're not really tasting as much. Um, I don't feel like there's any fruit in there that really stands out except for, as I said, I feel like I taste banana in there. Um, a good vape, good clean, refreshing vape, um, possibly a good all-day vape for people that are into that. Uh, the next one we're going to go over is going to be the uh, Hawaiian Wonderland. I don't know if I really need to hold every bottle up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I'm going to be vaping that in an iClear. 30B. Uh, incidentally, this was giving me all kinds of problems over the last week. That's another reason why I didn't get any reviews out. Um, but it's working really good now. So the short description of this one is uh, fruits from the Hawaiian islands, the hints of coconut and a creamy taste. So that sounds very intriguing. Let's check it out.
tastes a bit like the yellow set to me. Um, I'm getting a little bit of creamy, not a whole lot of creamy. Um, more creamy on the aftertaste, um, which I like. Uh, again, I feel like I taste a little bit of banana. Um, this is definitely tastes more like a tropical. It almost, you know what it reminds me of? is like a, like a juicy fruit gum if it was a little creamy. That's what it, that's really the best description that I can give it. Um, the creaminess doesn't really, it's not overpowering, um, but I definitely get it on the, on the exhale and in the aftertaste, um, which I like. And again, another, another real clean, uh, possible all day vape, uh, for people looking for something that's like a little creamy, not just, not strictly just uh, tropical fruit, um, but something with a little bit of extra, you know? Um, okay, so the next one we're going to do is going to be the Bangberry Mist. This one right here. And the short description on this one is a, a gummy berry taste. Um, the description didn't really give much more than that. It just said not to be confused with the bear. So, you know, right off the bat I'm thinking like a candy berry vape. Um, this one, we're going to do the, um, Ego Twist that I have stained with E-Juice because white, you know, um, and, uh, just a disposable clarimizer I bought for like eight bucks. Actually vapes pretty well once you break it in, surprisingly. I was shocked. So let's check it out. Yeah, very candy-ish. Um, I would say not to be confused with the bear is a little misleading because I feel like it does taste like a gummy bear. Um, in the description, they did mention that it doesn't have like a funky aftertaste like some of the maybe like gummy berry e-liquids do that are supposed to be a, um, a gummy bear. But, you know, it's got a really good aftertaste. You know, if you're looking for like a really good candy, gummy bearish type uh, type e-liquid, this one's really good. Um, good aftertaste, uh, good inhale, good exhale. Um, to me, it really tastes like when you open a bag of gummy bears and you smell it, that's what it tastes like. So, so for me, it's like a mixture of the different gummy bear flavors, um, which is really good. For me, probably wouldn't be an all-day vape. I would have to really be in the mood for something like that. I'm not super into the candy vapes so much, but I know a lot of people are. Um, so... Uh, that's, you know, maybe one to keep in mind for if you're just sort of in that mood where you want something candy-ish, or if you're somebody that just likes those anyway. But overall, very good. Um, okay, so the next one is Chimpo, right here. It took me forever to read that. I was like, what does that say? With all the colors and everything, it's really confusing to actually tell what it actually says. Um, the uh, description on this one is a, a creamy dessert vape. Again, one that didn't really have a great description of it. Um, but creamy dessert vape. Sounds intriguing, right? So once again, Ego Twist, $8 disposable, clear miser. Yeah, that one, I feel like this one's a little bit buttery, actually. Um, similar to the Back Then e-liquid that I reviewed before, uh, it kind of has that buttery taste, like a creamy buttery taste to it, um, you know, with a little bit of fruit, too. I feel like the, the buttery creaminess is more pronounced than anything else in here. But again, I do feel like I taste a little bit of banana, so... To me, it really tastes almost like a like a tropical, you know, a couple different tropical fruits mixed with, yeah, like a creamy, buttery taste. Yeah, this one I can see being like my all-day vape. <clears throat> um, you know, it just, I don't know, it's just, it has a really good taste. The fruits with the creamy butteriness, just sort of, I don't know, just something very pleasant about it. Um, 
I almost see this one being sort of like a spring vape, if you're going to go by seasons. Not quite a summery vape, because I feel like that's better for like the fruity blends, you know, the more refreshing vapes. This one is a little bit, um, a little bit fuller taste, I feel. So maybe like a nice spring, it's a little cool outside uh, kind of vape. If you're somebody that vapes by seasons, which I'm not, but um, I could definitely see rocking that. Um, and for the last one, I wanted to do a build in my uh, rebuildable. Uh, I actually just did a single coil um, on this one. I'm not great at, at building coils, but this one actually came out pretty decent, I think. So, um, But I wanted to give you guys a better look at the vapor production on these e-liquids because I feel like a lot of these just aren't really doing it justice and it's a 50-50 blend so you'd expect some good vapor so I'm just using my my king mod um, in my rebuildable here honestly I don't remember is this a nemesis something like that I don't you guys you guys tell me <laughs> what this is I actually drilled bigger holes in it to get some better airflow so the one that we're gonna do is the um, on this one is the red chi which is this one right here um, so the short description on this one is a blend of red fruits, uh, red fruits and lychee. Um, so this should be an interesting one. Uh, I re re reviewed, if I could talk, another e-liquid that had the lychee fruit in it, and it was really good. So it's a rare fruit and um, kind of floral. Um, undertones to it so it uh, I think it's a good one just to kind of mix with just about any fruit I think you could really get a good um, good e-liquid good tasting e-liquid out of it so uh, but let's check this out Yeah, drilling those air holes was really the best thing I could have done for this thing. Um, amazing, real airy draw to this. Um, yeah, you really taste the uh, the lychee berry. That's definitely the most pronounced flavor, uh, which is a really, really good flavor. Uh, it does taste a little floral. Um, not what I would call like perfumey, but definitely a, a little a little floral. So. Um, you know, it's uh, but it is a, it is a clean. It's not quite a refreshing vape, I wouldn't say, but it's a nice clean taste. Um, highly recommend this one to somebody looking for something that they haven't already tried. You know, you tried raspberry, you tried blueberry, you tried, you know, probably cherry, all these other things. So you know, fruit that you haven't probably tried, uh, at least not very often. Uh, this is a good one to go with, I think. Um, as you can see, the vapor production is really good. I don't really believe it has as much to do with my personal build using 28 gauge canthal, or um, not canthal, um, 28 gauge uh, wire and um, you know some organic cotton. But I think it has more to do with the fact that it's a 50/50 blend, giving off some really good vapor. A uh, good throat hit on all of this. Um, I will say. Uh, you, some are a little bit lighter than others, but again, that really depends on the device. If you have a really good atomizer that you're using, you're going to get more throat hit on a lot of these, but I feel like the throat hit is definitely there on a 50-50 blend. So, you know, to me, these are these are mixed really well, uh, really good quality e-liquids, and um, there's so many more on the website that I really want to try. So, But I just wanted to get this out there so you guys had a little bit more of an idea of what you can expect from, from jvapes.com. So, uh, anyway... Thank you for watching and take care.